So we're talking about psoriasis, and that's a skin condition that affects an estimated 125 million people around the world. So that's a lot of folks that are looking to science for a solution uh, to a health issue. We're going to talk about one of those advances today that, that I know has really kind of pushed things forward with treatment, and that are, are biologics. Can you explain exactly what the medication is, what biologics are? Biologics are antibodies, but an antibody is a protein that binds to something very specific. And we, our immune system naturally makes antibodies. It makes antibodies to viruses or bacteria or other foreign substances that are able to invade our body. So the idea is we make an antibody, for example, to a virus so that the next time that virus invades our body, the antibody binds to it and can either incapacitate it or sort of knock it down and target it for the immune system to destroy it. So biologics are antibodies, but instead of specifically recognizing a virus or bacteria or some other foreign substance, these are antibodies that are synthesized in a laboratory and are meant to recognize very specific key components of inflammatory processes. And in the case of psoriasis, of course, to recognize the key components of the inflammatory environment of psoriasis, and in that way, sort of knock down all of that inflammation, incapacitate that inflammatory environment. Who typically is the ideal candidate uh, for biologics treatment for psoriasis? If they have moderate to severe psoriasis. So certainly patients who have at least 10% of their body surface area involved with psoriasis are ideal candidates for biologics. Biologics mostly are administered by subcutaneous injection on a schedule. Some are given every three months, some once a month. What are the possible concerns uh, when it comes to taking biologics for psoriasis? The well-known side effect of all medications is at least a slight increased risk of infection. It's really, it's focused on upper respiratory infections that are mild. One of the first classes that came out, the TNF-alpha inhibitors, those are medications that are known to have increased risk of more serious infection, albeit low. But luckily, in today's world, because we have numerous different classes of biologics, regardless of underlying medical conditions that any given patient has, we can usually find biologic medications that we believe will be both safe and effective for those patients in treating their psoriasis.